And right here on KTK News, exclusive interview right now with George Roberts. He is the Chief Executive Officer for the Northeast Texas Public Health District, and we'll talk about the recent spike here in the area. So, George, let me ask you this. First of all, just how bad is it? Well, it's good. The, the numbers of cases are going up, Neil. Uh, they've, uh, I was just looking at the numbers a few minutes ago. We've already equaled in Smith County the, the same, the, the number of folks that we had test positive last week. Uh, our hospital numbers went down slightly today. Uh, they were uh, uh, just like 260 something in the hospital, but we were just under 19% of our capacity in, in our East Texas area. So down slightly a little bit, but you know, the, the number of positive cases are, are going up right now. And again, we, we just encourage everybody right now to, uh, you know, number one, if you're, if you're sick right now, don't go out and celebrate New Year's Eve. You know, stay home, stay home if you're sick. Uh, social distance, remember the whole social distancing thing we've been talking about. Wear a mask when you're out in public and uh, uh, just do this, avoid those large crowds. That's when we've got to do some things to control this thing. But there is good news on the horizon. I want some good news. But first of all, people ask me all the time, are they, are they meaning you guys and, and politicians, going to be shutting down businesses again? Is that true? Because you talk to uh, officials all the time. No, I think right now we're, it's, it's, we're in a spike right now. We, uh, we're the governor's compliance right now. We saw we went from 75% of our restaurants to 50% last week. Uh, we want to see a hospital number go down, though. So I, 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 I think it's incumbent on all of us. As I've, I've said this many times, this is a team sport right now. So it takes all of us to keep these numbers at a, at a manageable level. And really, the good news is, is the vaccine is out there right now. So we're starting to see we're in the process right now of starting to vac pe vaccinate people in our community. Those those tier one people that are the healthcare workers, first responders, etc. So we are spiking. What caused the numbers to go up? Do you think? Well, I think a lot of it is, you know, as I've said for a while, I think we, you know, we're going to have. We had Thanksgiving that happened. Their families got together. Uh, people inside more. Christmas has just happened. And quite frankly, I think people are, you know, we've had nine and a half months of this pandemic. I think, quite frankly, COVID fatigue. So. It's not the time where, as, as I've said before too, we, it, there's light at the end of this tunnel right now and let's, let's be careful as we get out of this tunnel. Now you mentioned fatigue. What is your word for all business owners that we talk to who have been locked down for so long and they're a little bit frustrated? Uh, are we gonna be wearing masks for like years? I don't think so. I think you know, I've heard reports that maybe if, if we can get the herd immunity up to a certain level, get a certain number of people vaccinated, uh, hopefully by, you know, late spring early summer we can we can get out of this thing but i think we are going to be in this for at least the next six months or so so elective surgeries may be canceled what about that well that's part of the governor's order as well that elective surgeries are canceled uh, dur or during this period particular point in time once we get below 15 percent of our hospital capacity being COVID 19 patients uh, for a seven day period those restrictions are lifted so we want to get that back now the other pit portion right now quite frankly the hospitals typically, there are not as typically as many people in the hospital this time of the year. There's uh, uh, things go down. So that's why you're seeing some of the percentages are going up as well. But uh, right now, we just encourage everybody to stay home when you're sick, avoid those large crowds, wear your mask when you're out in public and uh, do that social distancing. And let's get through this together. Before we let you go, anything that you want to tell our crowd, our audience that I have not asked you about? Well, I think the vaccines, you know, we, uh, the, the hospitals, you know, UT Health, East Texas and Christus have both been vaccinating uh, healthcare workers. Uh, our organization, the Northeast Texas Public Health District received a thousand doses of vaccine last week. We're in the process right now, vaccinating first responders and healthcare providers. And we actually uh, did a, a, a thing today at Harvey Hall. So we're trying to start getting uh, getting those vaccines in arms. We've given almost 200 vaccines so far. So we're hopefully in the next few days, over the next week and a week and a half, we can all those vaccines will be distributed. George, good to know. And thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me, Neil.